Hey everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Sell This Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we're going to be replacing the front drive hubs, okay, on the 2014 Chevy Impala. So stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of Sell This Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, as I said, we are working on the 2014 Chevy Impala. Really nice vehicle. I'm not a big fan of Chevys, but I gotta tell you, they did a nice job on the 2014 Impala. This is the LTZ trim, which is uh, not bad. It is the 3.6 liter V6, which isn't too bad either. And as long as your Impala is working correctly and the maintenance interval is up to, up to date, it's not bad of a vehicle. It rides really nice, it drives real nice. You know, as I said, as long as your maintenance intervals are up to date. All right, guys, here we are at the front passenger hub. I got all the tools already laid out that we need. You even see that I have my brake caliper hanger right here. Um, we're gonna run through these bolts real quick so you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna take the center axle nut off and that's a 32 millimeter. We'll need an 18 millimeter as well for our uh, outer tie rod to take that nut off and to take these two nuts off for the strut. Uh, last thing we'll need to take off is the brake caliper itself. For that, we're going to need a 21 millimeter <clears throat> and a 14 millimeter, okay? The 14 millimeter is going to go on these bolts right here, and you have the two bigger bolts Hold in the brake caliper on right there. That is your 21 millimeter. Okay, a little bit fuzzy there. My apologies, guys. You see them though? Right there, those two right there. All right, <clears throat> once you take the uh, brake caliper off, you have that off. You have your center nut off as well. The brake caliper, once you free that off, the rotor will come off. Uh, you take that nut off, you, that frees up the CV axle so it can come out of the hub. And you also pop that off in those two and it can move freely. Here, I'll show you. You guys can see what I'm talking about. We're going to move that out of the way because the center drive hub we need to replace is right behind there. So let's...
And there you have it, guys. The old uh, front driver's hub to the new one. I went ahead and ordered those on Amazon. I am going to throw the link to the uh, hubs in the video description. That way you guys don't have to search for them. You can go ahead and pull them up and save yourself hundreds, hundreds of dollars on this repair, guys. So you saw how I did it. Very simple. You can knock it out yourself. Um, it's going to take you you know, two hours tops, you know, and that's taking your time, guys. I'm recording it for you guys, so you guys get to save a bunch of money and put that money towards yourselves. Put it towards your family. All right, guys, as you can see, it's all back together. Remember to put your little set screw in the T40. Uh, don't forget about that. Uh, I am going to tighten down these 13 millimeter bolts right here. Don't forget about your brake line as well. Pop that in to its little holder right there. Just uh, got to tap it and it will fall right in. Okay, I did find out that the tie rods on this thing are shot, so I'm gonna let the owner know but make sure everything is tightened back up. You did uh, complete the front passenger side hub all by yourself, so great job. All right, guys, wow. Not bad of a job, right? Pretty easy. We got the old uh, drive hubs off, and we saved a couple hundred dollars while we were at it. So not too bad, guys. Great job as well. As you saw, once you got in there, it was actually pretty simple. You know, just a few couple bolts, you got your tie rod, you got your strut, and uh, tie rod, strut, and your CV axle nut, pretty self, I mean, pretty easy, right? I mean, as long as you have all the right tools and you can get that back in there, I mean, if you, you know, you gotta manhandle the uh, the brake, cal you know, not brake caliper, but your your drive hub assembly when you're putting it back up into the uh, the struts, so you can put the bolt through. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you know, heave it a little bit. You know, not bad. But check out the, these hubs. If you move them, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer, Mike. I want you guys to hear this. Hey. All right, I hope you guys heard that there. Uh, <clears throat> I want you to hear that because that small sound, you, you got to listen to it, but you do it in person, you can easily hear it. Now, if you pick up the other one, nothing, okay? I picked up the other one. Hold on, let me shut this door again. 
My dogs always love hanging out with me. Here we go. Okay. Oops. You see how that one didn't have any sound to it? So the one that does have sound, you, you just imagine how many revolutions per minute that wheel is going, you going down the street. So that small little sound is now going down the road driving you insane, right? But you got it replaced. You got nice, smooth quality right now. It's a great job, guys. Hey, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, why not? We just <laughs> saved money together. You know, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification. That way you get notified of all my future DIY auto repair videos. And I'm adding automotive news episodes as well. That way you are up to date of what's going on in the automotive world with new models coming out, the uh, new electric uh, vehicles that are coming out, and, you know, new modifications uh, that the manufacturers are adding and safety recalls. So very, very important, especially with the safety recalls. You'd be surprised with how many there are. It's insane. So guys, thank you so much for checking out another great video here on the channel, Solo Slipping Cars. I'm Zachary. Hey, make sure you smash that like button if I was able to help you replace your drive hubs today. And until next time, guys, keep on rinsing. Take care. Oh! <laughs>